In this video, we will learn about drawing the medication from the vial. Every time a medication is ordered, safety begins with a clearly written orders that's easy to read and understand. Clarify any questions you may have with the provider. Never guess any medication. Double check something if you are unsure. If you are not familiar with the medication, refer to your agency policy and the drug reference book to determine the purpose of the drug, side effects, typical dosage, and any pertinent precautions or contraindications the nurse must follow. Always ensure 10 rights of medication administration, and those are right medication, right dose, right time, right route, right patient, right patient education, right documentation, right to refuse, right assessment, and right evaluation. Perform dosage calculation to match the orders. Confirm your answer with the provider if necessary. Dispense the medication in a well-lit, quiet area. Compare the order with the label on the vial to confirm that you have the right drug for the right patient. Check the quality of the medication and the expiration date. Dispose of the medication if it appears contaminated or containing sediments or the medication has expired. Choose the correct syringe and needle based on the administration site and the patient's characteristics and the amount of medication to be injected. Remember, you have the right to prevent errors. So compare the order with the labels on the medication once more just before dispensing. Key point to remember is that you will be using blunt non-filtered needle to draw the medication from the vial. Once your medication is drawn, now you will be switching the needle which you will be using on the patient to administer the medication. The ordered dose makes sure that the strength on the label matches the order and that you dispense the right dose by the right route at the right time to mix any medication. Gently roll the vial between your palms. Don't shake the vial since that may create air bubbles in the medication. Now you can remove the lid or the cap on the vial. After that, make sure you clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol wipe. Place the vial on the secure flat surface. With the needle cover in place, grasp the syringe plunger and draw an amount of air equal to the amount of medication ordered. Uncover the needle while holding the vial in place. Carefully insert the needle into the center of stopper. Make sure the uncovered needle touches only the clean rubber stopper. Now inject the air in your syringe into the medication vial. Without removing the needle, carefully pick up the syringe and vial and invert them and hold them at your eye level. Now slowly pull back on the plunger to draw up more medication while the needle is still in the vial. Check for air bubbles in the syringe. If you see any air bubbles, move the hand with which you are holding the vial down to hold the syringe with your free hand Tap the syringe until the air bubbles float into the tip of the syringe. Inject air bubbles and extra medication back into the vial, still holding the syringe and vial at your eye level. Make sure the amount of medication in the syringe unit is still accurate. This confirms that the right dose has been drawn up. Using the right technique, withdraw the needle and replace the needle cover be careful not to let the needle touch anything, including the outside of the cover. Once your medication is drawn, now you will be switching the needle which you will be using on the patient to administer the medication. Confirm the orders against the vial label one more time. Your third label check then return the medication to the storage. Finally dispose of any used supplies like alcohol wipes, sanitize your hands and perform the documentation. After your third and final check, Return the medication to storage. Finally, dispose of any used supplies like alcohol wipes. Sanitize your hands and record the right documentation. Hello, nurses and nursing students. I hope you guys enjoyed learning the procedure of drawing up medication from a vial. What next? You know the drill. Let's just practice some NCLEX style question related to the skill. So here is the first question on your screen. Which type of needle should the nurse use when accessing the rubber stoppers as seen in the picture? 
and you will see the four options on your screen. I want you to pause here, take your time and think about this clinical question. Which needle would you use as a nurse? All right, so let's just review option number A. It says 2.5 centimeters, one inch, 18 gauge blunt fill needle without filter. And that is the correct option. A large gauge blunt fill needle should be used because the top is rubber. So no filter is used in this one. Good job, you already got the answer. But let's just still review the other options. Option number B, 3.75 centimeters, which is 1.5 inches, 25 gauge needle. Think about it. This is incorrect because this type of needle is used for injections, but not filling up of the medication from the vial. All right, guys, let's just review option number three. 2.5 centimeters, one inch, 18 gauge blunt fill needle with filter. You guys know you're very smart. This type of needle is used up for drawing up fluids from the glass ampules, not vials. Let's just review option number four. 1.6 centimeters, 5 eighths of an inch, 25 gauge needle. This type of needle is used for administering subcutaneous injection, but not for drawing medications from the vial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am enjoying it very much. Let's just move on to the next question. All right, guys, here's the next question on your screen. Which of the following is the part of the medication checks that a nurse needs to complete when drawing up an intravenous medication? Select all that apply. I know it's a SATA question. Hang in tight, but do your best. These are your options. Make sure you guys pause your screen and use the true false strategy, which I've taught you guys to figure out what the answer is. All right, now let's just review option by option. Option number one, three medication label checks, one out loud. That is correct. Medication must be checked three times to ensure right drug, right dosage and right time and right route and right patient. We have actually 10 rights of medication. Go ahead and watch our other videos to learn that. Option number B, checking the manufacturer's name. This is incorrect. Manufacturer's name is not an important part. Option number three, check the medication dosage against the prescribed dose. This is correct. The medication label must be checked three times to ensure all the rights, which includes right drug, right dose, right route, right patient, right assessment, all those 10 rights. And then the option number D, check the medication expiry date, which is very, very important. And you guys know that's correct. Medication label must be checked again three times against all those rights. Last option, check the birth date of the client on the medication record. What do you guys think about it? Option number E is incorrect. The client's name is checked, but the birth date is not the part of medication check. Rather would be a part of the client's identification check. I know it's very close, hey, but still that's how it makes the difference between right and wrong in your questions. All right, guys, so this means the final answer for this question was A, C, and D. Even if you mark one wrong, it's okay because you know that in NCLEX NGN, we have nowadays partial marking system, so you should be okay, okay? So let's just get on to the last question associated with this topic. Here's the question on your screen. The nurse is reconstituting an antibiotic from powder form for administration. Which of the following action is appropriate when reconstituting a medication? All right, so here are the four options on your screen and pause the video and see which one is the correct answer. All right, guys, let's just review statement by statement. Option number one, use the same needle to draw up and administer the medication. What do you guys think about it? That's absolutely incorrect. This is unacceptable practice as the needle will be removed from the syringe prior to connecting it to the secondary line. Option number B, touch the rubber stopper of the vial with the gloved hand only. What do you guys think? Is this correct? Option number B is incorrect because gloves do not need to be worn for preparing medication from a vial unless specifically indicated by what type of drug the nurse is preparing. Let's just look at option number C draw up the dilutant into the syringe first. What do you guys think? That's incorrect. This is not an appropriate action as the air needs to be injected into the dilutant while prior to drawing up the dilutant into the syringe first. Let's just look into the last option. Inject the air into the dilutant while first. 
And you guys know that's absolutely correct because when you're reconstituting a medication from a powder form, the nurse must inject the air into the dilutant first. This equalizes the pressure inside the medication vial, making it easier to draw the dilutant into the syringe. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed learning clinical skill as well as NCLEX style question practice. That's what we do at FPNPC. We are always here to support the students and make sure you contact us if you have more queries. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you very much.